गुड मॉर्निंग चिल्ड्रेन साई राम वेलकम बैक टू अवर ऑनलाइन क्लास एंड टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू विथ आर इंग्लिश सब्जेक्ट दैट इज लेसन नंबर सेवन चाइना सिल्क सो ऑलरेडी वी हैव कंप्लीटेड पार्ट वन वीडियो आई होप यू ऑल हैव लर्न बाय हार्ट द न्यू वर्ड्स राइट so any time surprise dictation will be taken so learn by heart the new words from the lesson you can pick up the words choose the words from the textbook also now get ready with your textbook and open chapter 7 china silk we will continue the lesson so what was the lesson about the lesson was about silk the how the silk was invented so we are all familiar about the silk clothes we use occasionally for any grand functions and celebrations right so this is the lesson about how the silk was invented so so this is the image of a silk worm this is the image of a silk worm so from the silk worm we get the silk we get the silk and uh, let's proceed with the lesson now so i also explain that what is silk it is a rope thin row very shiny it is equally stronger than a metal wire and the rearing of silk worm for the production of silk is called the seri culture now let's begin with the lesson so i hope you all are ready with your textbooks english textbook open page number 58 so this is lesson number 7 china silk and the lesson was written by sudha murthy and uh, yeah so i hope ready with the page number 59 so let's revise this page already we have completed let's do a quick recap so a long time ago in a tiny village in oh, i'm sorry yeah a long time ago in a tiny village in china there lived a poor girl from a weaver's family one day the emperor was passing through the village and saw her working in the fields he noticed her proud bearing and her rough work worn hands which meant she worked very hard throughout through the year he immediately fell in love with her and decided to marry her so there was a village in china and they lived a poor girl and she was from the weavers family and what is weavers family the people who weave the clothes so one day the emperor he was passing through that village and saw this girl who was working very hard in the field and he noticed her proud and rough work worn hands her hands were very rough because of working for the whole day so he immediately fell in love with her and decided to marry her and then what happened the girl married the ruler of the land they both got married okay so the girl married the ruler of the land and went to live in his palace as his beloved queen but she was unhappy she had grown up 
in the wide open spaces of the countryside and now she was confined to a palace she was used to working from dawn to night without a moment's rest but now she had many servants to take care of her needs and did not know how to fill her time now this girl and the emperor they both got married and they went to the palace to live but this girl was unhappy being a queen then also she was unhappy why because she is used to live in a open space along with her families and friends and she has the habit of working from morning to night that is from dawn to night without single minute rest but now after becoming a queen she has got many servants to do all the work so she doesn't know how to fill her time so she was feeling very unhappy okay next in the village she had been surrounded by family and friends who exchanged news and gossip as they were but in the palace it was quiet and no one spoke out of turn the emperor noticed his wife was sad and tried his best to make her happy the emperor tried his best to make the queen happy he brought her grand clothes and jewels and artifacts he threw elaborate parties and hired the best musicians of the land to amuse her yet she was sad so what what this emperor did to make the queen happy he brought very grand clothes jewelries and he brought uh, many artifacts then he threw big big parties he brought the musicians to make her happy to amuse her means to make her happy but then too this queen was very sad so what would make the empress happy so do you have any idea now let's see what would make the empress happy and why so one afternoon the empress sat under a mulberry bush in her garden lost in her thoughts about her village she slowly sipped hot water from a cup so one afternoon the queen empress means queen so she was sitting under a mulberry bush in a garden in her garden and she lost in her thoughts she was thinking about her village her friends their gossips their news all her life she was just imagining and slowly she sipped hot water from a cup and then what happened Staring up at the blue sky, the girl remembered the birds that flew over her village. So she was just thinking everything about the village, about her village. Then, sighing softly to herself, means she was breathing. She picked up her cup to take another sip. she picked her cup to take another sip but what was this so something she can see inside the cup a cocoon from the mulberry bush had dropped into the hot water so under the mulberry bush she was sitting the queen was the empress was sitting and something fell in the hot cup so she it was a cocoon it was a cocoon that fell from the mulberry bush but 
Then she took a closer look and she saw some threads peeping out from the cocoon. Where had they come from? She pulled the threads. They were thin, strong and shiny. She kept pulling and a long line of thread came out. Now the empress had a great idea. She would take the thread from many cocoons and weave soft and strong cloth from it. Yes, see what she did? So the empress took the calf very closer to have a look. What is that? And she saw something thread was coming out. So she started pulling the threads. So she was pulling and pulling. The threads was coming out and it was very thin and it was very strong and it was shining. So she kept on pulling a long line of threads came out. So what she did? She started collecting many cocoons and she collected a lot of threads. And out of threads, she got the idea of weaving a soft and strong cloth from it. So this is the picture of the empress and this is the mulberry bush so she was have she was going to sip the cup of which was cup kept very hot so there was hot water in that cup so she was very sad and she was lost in her own thoughts thinking of her village so suddenly something fell in the cup and she took a closer look and she saw some threads were coming out now do you know what a cocoon is so i showed you the picture of the silk worm so this do you think the cocoons used by the empress were empty? To find out the answer for this. Now let's continue with the lessons. She called her servants and everyone got to work. They took cocoons out of the mulberry tree, dropped them in hot water and removed the thread. So what did the servants do? They collected so many cocoons and dropped it in the hot water and dropped it in the hot water and they collected a lot of threads and they removed the threads they gathered a fair amount of yarn yarn means thread very shiny thread then the queen ordered a special weaving machine and wove the first piece of cloth using this new thread thus silk was woven so what the servants did, they collected many cocoons and dropped them in hot water and removed the threads and they gathered a fair amount of yarn and then the queen ordered a special weaving machine and they wove the first piece of cloth using this new thread. Thus silk was woven. <coughs> The manufacture of silk spread throughout China. So as they started weaving the clothes out of silk and it was spreaded all over China. So it was the cloth that only royalty could wear. Royalty means the people who are related to the kings and queens. Means very rich family. So only those people were using the silk cloth and was much in demand in lands as far away as Rome. The route through which silk was traded between 
China and Europe through Asia was called the Silk Road. So as they manufactured the silk throughout the China, the news was there was a great demand in the Rome also. Say so they they created a route, the route through which silk was traded. They started the business between China and the Rome. So the route which silk was traded, traded means business between China and Europe through Asia, it was called the Silk Route. So this they were trading the silk through the route. So this was called the Silk Route. So what makes certain things more valuable than certain other things? Yes, what makes certain things more valuable than certain other things? So this silk was very valuable. Now that the Chinese had learned how to make silk cloth. But they did not want to share this knowledge with anyone in this world. Generations of Chinese royalty were sworn never to reveal the secret to anyone. So now the all Chinese people learned to make the silk cloth. But they did not share this knowledge to anyone in the world so generation to generation this chinese royalty they took the oath never sworn means promise oath never to reveal the secret to anyone but you know what happened when the princesses got married and went away to far off lands they were not allowed to tell anyway, anyone in their new home how silk was made. Now, there will be a lot of princesses there. And when they grew up, they got married. But they were strictly instructed by the Chinese that they should never reveal the secret how this silk is manufactured. So they were not allowed to tell anyone in their new home. So after they get married, they go to the other place. But they were not supposed to tell. They were not supposed to reveal the secret to anyone. And now what happened? Many, many years later, when a clever princess was leaving her house after her wedding, as per the custom, her bags were searched carefully to check that she did not carry thing, anything that would help her make silk. So, out of which they were making silk? Cocoon. So, what when the princesses were getting married, their bags were checked. Why they are checked? Because they are not supposed to carry anything that would help her to make the silk. Now this princess, so there was, there were a prince who was very clever. So this princess had been weaving silk from a young age and wanted to continue to do so wherever she went. So there was a princess and she was weaving this cloth from her little young age and she wanted to continue to do this work. So what she did? She had hidden the cocoons where she hid in her long elaborate hairdo. So there was a, the Chinese made the hairstyle. They had a long hair and they had made big buns. That is called a hair. They way their hair is styled. So she had hidden the cocoons in her long elaborate hairdo. So no one thought of looking there. 
so these people they were checking the bangs and everything but nobody checked the hair now who will check the hair right so nobody will check the hair so when she went to her husband's house she took out these cocoons from her hair and started gathering silk thread so in this way as the legend goes the knowledge of how to make silk left china so now all over the world we get the silk clothes and all people have started making clothes out of silk so how this was practiced so because of this princess she hid some cocoons in her hair do and she went to her husband's place so there she started her business so slowly it was passed to most all over the world so all people started trading the silk so this story is based on a chinese folk tale children so this is how the silk was invented now let's stop here and in the next video let us learn some do some activities and learn the question and answer so till that do the reading practice so from the lesson any questions will be asked so in the next video whatever the questions i'm going to ask you you should be able to answer it's very interesting lesson right so see you in the next video bye bye children